The morning of June 6, 2009, we are in the Lexington Armory. Yes. Find that shirt. Oh my God, it's such a gorgeous food. Hi, Freedom. I'm this is terrible. Wait, I don't think I come out on. I don't come out on film. No, these are these are the big conchos here. They have organized this whole thing. Fine art publisher doing publishing. Angry little girls in love. I see. This is appalling. What's happening to American culture? I don't see it as capitulating. It's not appalling. Comics are the future. I, I work for an intellectual property attorney, <laughs> and uh, I just want you to know that you will receive my. Uh, my letter uh, uh, in the mail, I, I'm, I'm asking for 80% of all of your, your earnings. Tell them fair use. Look it up. It's legal. Legal. Legal, yes, but can you afford the cost when I no, drag you into I court? No, I absolutely cannot. So 80%? 80% okay, is fine. Okay, see me later. Right. I believe in John Kovaleski's work. Wait a minute. You're not John Kovaleski. No, I'm There's not. There's some guy named R. It's, uh, uh, basically one big snot and shit show. Um, and uh, that was meant to be ready for this show. It's about 20% better. Can I read this on a Kindle? Unfortunately not. I think you're going to have to work on reformatting this so it's, uh, so you can sell it over the internet. Uh, <laughs> you, you have to somehow get digital hands. You can't buy it from Barnes & Noble. Costco? Walmart? I feel a sense of loss. Uh, is that what this, this love is about? It must be, yeah. The, the, the loss the reader feels as he moves away from a book that he'll never see again and that he hasn't even read yet? book, I buy it because it, it makes me feel good. So why would I ever buy this book? Like, Ask the author. Does it make me feel good? It makes, it would make you feel good? Why did you buy a table at the Museum of Comics and Cartoon Art Fair if you were just going to have books that said this to the people to walk past? What were you thinking? Um, but I just want to point out that You Suck is one of the best sellers at this table. It's quite popular. You mean all these people here feel that they suck? And that when they see this magazine, they feel a sense of identity such that they have to own this book? Look at all these people who feel that they suck. Look at I'm suing you for recording me. They, oh my god. I'm so depressed. How much is it? I'll pay you in quarters here. Uh, why don't you... Do you know how much laundry I can do in this place? <laughs> all right. And, and, and how bad will I feel after reading this magazine? Well, I can explain the title to you if you'd like me to. Because I paid you? Well, no. If I, I paid have you anyways. more, would you explain more thoroughly? I would lie. I would lie thoroughly. I'll give you an extra 50 cents. All right. <laughs> All right. Here's, uh, here's an extra 50 cents. Now you can do. Uh, now you can maybe do some drying. Okay. So. Okay. So. I, I really the like idea behind all magazines, including this one, is that you suck as a person. And the only way you can stop sucking is to buy things like magazines and the products that they advertise. And then you will be almost good, but you won't really be better because then you'd stop buying them. And so, you see, it's a vicious cycle. I just wanted to let you know. Are you an anarchist? <laughs> this is the Kevin Eastman's award. This kind of stuff is funded by grants. Poop. Shithole. I hate mom's cat. Yeah. You, you smell it? Ugh! <laughs> Scratch oh. oh my god. Uh, yeah. he's, he's real. He's coming to life. Oh, he's a real thing. So if I buy one of these sketches, yeah. will it increase in value? Totally. And when will it be worth $20? Next year. And when will it be worth $100? Next year. So this is where the new economy is being born right now. If only everyone would buy all the sketches here. If Wall Street would move its money and invest it in these sketches that are for sale at these tables, the entire economy would recover. The recession would be over. Starting with you. Well, 
I, I already bought I already bought this. <laughs> Alright. I spent three dollars on this. And this is already worth five dollars. I'll sell it to you for five dollars. I'm okay. I can't understand French. Uh, and here they are. The troublemakers of this appalling rag, this this disgusting piece of a crash that purports to have predicted the end of the world. And I want to know, 30 years of producing this thing, where's the damn end of the world? Back! And where, Away. World Away. War III, the, the evidence is, the evidence shows, we're, we're not all dead yet. Perhaps the world has already ended and we just don't know it yet. <laughs>